Welcome to Marlins Way, where we find Lone Depot Park. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the New York Yankees taking on the Miami Marlins. First pitch coming your way next. All right, just about set to go. And getting the start for Miami, Braxton Garrett. What should we keep an eye on here? Well, he comes at hitters with a five-pitch mix, so for him, it's always interesting to see how he utilizes those weapons. He may lean on one or two pitches, depending on how things are going and how things are working, but if he can control four or even five of those offerings, look out, hitters. It's going to be a tough day. He's really going to be able to keep those guys off balance. Ready to go now. DJ LeMayhew to start things off. Just misses. Three and two now. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Three, two. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. That one ripped. That's back there. And it slams off the bottom of the wall. LeMayhew into second, and he's got a double. Love how he became a really tough out with two strikes right there. Put a pretty good swing on that one as he drove it out to deep left. Didn't quite have the right combination of launch angle and exit velocity to get it over the fence, but you're never going to be disappointed with extra bases. A chance now to take the lead, and at this point in the game, that could be a deciding run. Anthony Volpe stepping in now for the Yankees. Kicks and deals. Oh, and he hit him. He had two strikes on him, and he hit him. Well, he's just glad that he got hit with an off-speed pitch there instead of a fastball. Man, that would have hurt a lot more if it had velocity. And now here is Austin Wells. Over to second for one. Relay to first, double play. Sometimes double plays get turned so quickly that you don't really get to appreciate all of the finer details and how these guys execute them. Right there, really nice footwork, and a good feed to second was the key to pulling it off. And up next for New York, Kyle Higashioka. And a 1-1. And another ball. Breaking ball in there for a strike. Next one misses, and that's ball three. Isaiah Kiner Falefa on deck for the Yankees. LeMayhew at third with two away. In the air, fairly deep to right field. Sanchez brings it in, and that is that. A lot of adrenaline, we can see it right there, and sometimes you just got to let it out. That's an outstanding job of taking that, executing, and getting out of a tough inning. Back here at Lone Depot Park, and on the mound in this one, Michael King. Well, this guy has a ton of respect from his own teammates and the guys that are playing behind him just seem to take it to another level. You know, he's the type of guy who's not having a good day to try to save that bullpen for the game and the next game. He'll go out there and wear it. So in this one, if he can keep his pitch count down early, he has the ability to work deep into this ballgame. And one and two. One ball, two straight. Got him swinging. Oh, really went aggressive in with that slider. Good two-strike pitch right there. At worst-case scenario, it's weak contact in play. Exactly where he and the catcher wanted it. Jorge Soler up at the plate. One down, base is empty. 
popped up. Connor Falefa should have this one. And there are two outs. Batting third, the first baseman, Josh. And now the switch hitting first baseman, Josh Bell. Bell puts it in the air out towards left center. Florial pulls that one down, and that will end the inning. And one, two, three, go the Marlins. Scoreless after one. Back here in Miami, second inning set to go. Isaiah Kiner Falefa up to the plate. And he deals. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. 2013 in the playoffs, you caught one as the Red Sox played the Rays in the division series. I sacrificed a bracelet. It was my wrist and my hand. That takes care of Connor Falefa. And there's one away. That is it. The right view. Oswaldo Cabrera stepping in now for the Yankees. No score here in the second. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And now two gone. Just indecisive in that at bat. He couldn't commit to the slider. Tried to sit in between. Just not able to put the bat on the ball. And stepping in is the speedy Oswald Peraza. And now two and one. The pitch. A little out front there as he swings through it. It's a good changeup to hit up in the zone. I don't think he recognized it. I'm sure he'd love to have that one back. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Down in order, go the Yankees. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Welcome back. Jazz Chisholm Jr. now. Some nuggets on Jazz Chisholm. He's from the Bahamas, and he was born in 1998, signed with the Diamondbacks in 2015. Before he could make his Major League debut, though, Arizona traded Jazz to Miami for Zach Gallen. He made his debut the following season, and then in 2022, he became an All-Star. Two, two. And now it's filled up. He also became the first player from the Bahamas to play a game at shortstop in the bigs since Andre Rogers in 1967. You know, Rogers was the first big leaguer from the Bahamas. Started to play shortstop for the Cubs when Ernie Banks moved to first base. The other way, and that's just foul. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. And a pitch. Got him. That's one out the bottom of the second. Now just ripped a page out of the Greg Maddox playbook. Throw that pitch at the hip and just watch it jump back over the inside part of the plate. Tell you what, you are baffled expecting that to almost hit you and then end up as a called strike. Swings here and blasts one left field. That one back there. And it's gone! Home run! They're going crazy in the dugout, and they jump out front. It's 1-0.
A breaking ball on the inside part of the play requires a hitter to stay really square with his mechanics. If you fly open with the front shoulder, there's no way you keep that ball fair. An outstanding job mechanically. He deserves that home run. And here is Brian De La Cruz. Next offering way off the plate. Here comes a pitch. That one 95 to finish him off. He's locked in at the plate when he's using the whole field. He was out in front there. Just needs to let the ball travel a little more and his timing will be back on track. Good pitch for the strikeout. Two outs, base is empty. Now it's going to be Jesus Sanchez. Next offering is in for a strike. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Miami strikes first on the solo homer. It's now a 1-0 ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. All set for the start of the inning. And stepping in for the Yankees, Everson Pereira. Here's a 1-1. Down the line towards the corner. And he can't quite get there. It's a foul ball. The pitch. That one missed. Hit slowly on the ground. Berger on the run sends it over to first. Leadoff hitter gone in the third. And now it's Estevan Florial. A little surprised we don't see a pinch hitter here with the lefty lefty matchup. Kicks and fires. Ball. Pitch misses. Two balls, two strikes. High fly ball down the left field line. De La Cruz settles under it and makes the catch. Out number two. So the batting order turns over. Now it's LeMayhew up to hit. Let off this game with a double. On the ground. And that's a fair ball. couple of hits in a row for him here just a cookie down the middle I mean those are the ones you dream about the ones in the cage you're just hoping you get in the ball game right down the middle not a whole lot of velocity right on top of it typically the outfield defense will play a little bit deeper just to keep the ball in front make sure that runner on first doesn't come all the way around to score and tie this ball game up next to hit Anthony Volpe Go with the tie and run at first base. He's looking for something he can get a lot of barrel on. Drive it into a gap and score that run from first base. And a ball in two strikes. Ripped into right center. Base hit. LeMayhew around second, headed for third. And they hold the tying run at third. Threw up the stop sign, even with two away. Well, he found himself behind in the count right there, but he didn't give in. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle, allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. Now we'll see if they can pick up that tying run and start us over here in the late innings. Now up is the Yankees' DH, Austin Wells. And a payoff pitch. Bows it back with two strikes. Corners are occupied with two down. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. Step off throw to first. Volpe back in standing. Huge 
strike out there. A couple of hits in the inning, but they can't get him home. We move on to the bottom of inning number three. It's the Marlins one and the Yankees nothing. here at the ballpark as we go to the last of the third and at the play for Miami John Birdie that misses the zone now two balls and a strike rolled over to third Connor Falefa gathers and throws to first one gone, bottom of the third Good inning. Catcher. Good late bite on that slider. Got the hitter out in front, rolled oh, over man. on it. Exactly what it was supposed to do. Jacob Stallings now. The pitch. Hard ground ball, base knock. Back to the top of the Miami order. Luis Arias getting ready to hit. 0 for 1. He struck out swinging last time. Two balls, two strikes. Still 2-2 two two after the foul ball. Stallings, the runner at first with one gone in the inning. Hit hard, should be extra bases. Now he launches a throw over his head. He scores all the way from first. A terrible job getting it back to the infield, and it costs them a run. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side, and the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. Now, here is Jorge Soler. He popped out his first time. Next offering is foul back. Here's a sack fly situation, and he's got to make sure he gets the ball out over the plate and get those arms extended. They're trying to crowd him with the infield in. On the ground to third. Zips it across. Play is made, two out. Deceptive slider right there. Stayed in the tunnel a long time. Got that hitter out front, rolled over it, put it on the ground. Josh Bell at the plate now. Slide out his first time. Rudder at third, two away. Fly ball down the line. Pereira ranges to his right. Got it. Covered plenty of distance there. And that will end the inning. But they do get on the board in the inning on this run scoring triple. And it's two zip. Major League Baseball is on the show. Back here at Lone Depot Park. And now the catcher comes up to him. Kyle Higashioka. He is at the top of the game in terms of defense at the catching spot. It's so impressive because these guys have to do so much study and preparation for their pitchers, for opposing hitters, and really their number one job is to guide that staff through a ball game. And so when you also can turn it up offensively and be a force there, that is a win-win, every manager's dream. And a 3-1 on the way. Comes up empty. That's strike two. And he walked him. What a battle. It's not always easy laying off a 3-2 pitch, and I tell you what, he earned that walk. Here's the third baseman, Isaiah Kiner-Falefa. Runner at first with no outs here. The Yankees looking to rally. In there at the knees, and now 2-2. Two and two. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but he can never... 
and a swing and a miss. And one gone. Well, Brogue, I'll tell you, when he goes to look at the video of that pitch, he is going to want to punch himself. That slider had hit me ridden all over it, and clearly he just got a little too excited and was out in front. Tell you what, when you get a pitch like that, you cannot miss it. Those have a chance to go a long way. Now it's the switch hitting outfielder, Oswaldo Cabrera. His first at bat was a strikeout and a pitch. Looked like it was a little bit up. And it goes just foul. At the belt and fires. Battling here as he fouls it away. Here comes a 3 2. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. The kick, the 3 2. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Ninth pitch of the at bat due next. And now the lefty to short could be two. Birdie tossed the second, and their second double play of the day will end the fourth. They made it look easy, but it started with a nice feed to the second baseman from the shortstop. Perfect turn, and they're out of this jam. And welcome back. John Chambi and Chris Singleton with you. And leading off the bottom of the fourth, Jazz Chisholm Jr. Left hand hitter waits. Ground ball right side and foul ball. You know, these Marlins showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. They're doing a good job of working the pitch count, and they've been able to push a couple of runs across to score as well. Volpe throws it to first in time. One out in the bottom of the fourth. Still relatively early, but with the pair of runs already on the board, the ripple effect of that high pitch count might set them up to do more damage later in this game. Jake Berger, the next up for the Marlins. The solo homer his first time. 1-2 now. Got him. That's the second out. Well, big power guy right there and generating so much bat speed. It's hard to bring that to a halt once you've committed. They tried to check the swing, just couldn't do it. Two down, nobody on. And the slider just misses. And now it's filled up. Got it by him for the K. Miami down in order, but they hold the 2 0 lead. We go to the top of the fifth, stepping in, Oswald Peraza. The 1-1. One, one. That's a ball. You know, Good these ball. Yankees doing a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way, and I'm seeing very patient at-bats out of them. Starter's leash has to be getting tighter with his pitch count where it is, but so far he's been really effective in this one. You know, sometimes it just takes getting to the bullpen in order to be able to score runs, and that might be the case today.
Here's the 2 2. Got him. Down on strikes. And he knew it. And next for New York, Everson Pereira. The wind of the pitch. Swing and a miss. And the count, one and two. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. Just a great slider right there. And I think the key for pitchers and what hitters don't want to see is if a pitcher misses with that pitch, that he misses off the edge of the strike zone rather than in the middle of the strike zone. And right there, excellent execution, and it finished up in a perfect spot. Swung on, belted. That one back there. And it hits the base of the wall. And that's a two-out double. He was all over that one. Absolutely blasted that one into the gap, but just didn't have quite enough to clear the wall out there. Maybe a little more elevation under it, and it carries over, but that's a swing you'll be happy with every time. Manager out of the dugout, and he's going to make a change. Braxton Garrett done for the night, and as he heads off, we'll step aside for a minute. Back with the new pitcher after this break. So the closer summoned from the bullpen, J.T. Shagwa. And I can't imagine any save is an easy one. You're holding a small lead on the scoreboard, and you know those hitters are going to give you the best at-bats they can. So it's always high stress. Let's see what he's got here to try and close it out. Back to the top of the Yankee order, and now it's D.J. LeMayhew digging in. Righty delivers. And he's got it. Ball game. And the Marlins claim the win here behind some great pitching and defense. Well, a three-pitch save. This guy might feel cheated a little bit. Gets in the ball game, wants to show off his arsenal, and really didn't get that opportunity. But I think he'll take it. Whenever you can get that save and do it efficiently, he'll be ready to pitch tomorrow. 2-0 your final here in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon.